Put this in and get a good bank ride. Ooh, yes. I will take that. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel for another episode here on the Torque Drift Beta. Today we are here today to give the pro cars a shot. We uh we have 8500 bucks, so we are gonna rent a couple of these cars and give them a test drive. Probably uh trying that Viper, Red Dam Briquettes, Jonathan Castro, and uh maybe all of them, you know. We'll probably get some extra money when we do this, maybe we'll have to do some tandems to get some more money. But we already tested Mad Mike Widette's car. We will test it again, probably, if we have some extra money at the end. Um, I did make it up to Bronze Rookie. I am out of the grassroots uh, level, almost 25. So we are going to give Dean Carney's Viper a shot today. I'm trying to find out the best track I want to go to. We're probably just going to go to the biggest track on the map. So we are here today to give the pro cars a shot in this game and see how these cars... Um, Reacts like our other cars. This car is rocking 969 horsepower. Pro car, driver tires, the Oracle Lighting, Dodge Viper of Dean Carney. So uh, we're gonna see see how this goes here in this Viper. I'm not really sure how these uh, pro cars are gonna handle, but uh, as I can see, they're already extremely powerful, and uh, I probably should have taken that into account. The car is very, uh, very bumpy, it seems like, but the thing can throw a lot of angle and the power is just there. I think we're going to turn on our cluster. Slow down a little bit on the handbrake, a little bit of braking too. This car seemed to be able to get back on power real quick, but yeah, definitely a lot different compared to the other cars we're running. It's this back end of this bike seems really high. I'm going to wreck the incarnate. Viper. Sorry, man. Hope you don't mind me uh, renting and wrecking your car, you know, off the get-go. To me, I don't know about you, but the back of this car seems really high, and uh, I feel like it should be a lot lower, in a sense. I mean, it's still getting sideways, and it definitely has the power. It's not as, uh, it doesn't handle as well as I would hope it would, but, uh, Power is there. I don't think the boost or anything in my cluster changes. It might change, you know, in the uh, actual game. But right now, it's just sticking there. So we'll probably go back to our drift scores. So Dean Carney's Viper uh, seems a little bit higher than I think it should be in the rear, and it's uh, very springy in the rear, trying to pedal throttle a little bit. It does look really sweet. The fact that uh, it is his actual car with the interior looking the same, with the fuel cell and everything in the back, it looks like an extra spot back there too. So the fact that there's pro cars in this game is definitely very awesome. I cannot wait for the FD car pack to come out for Forza 7 and Forza Horizon 4. So I figured today we would just throw some pro cars around, see what the pro cars are like. It's a really long initiation on a handbrake grab. Well that just tap and we actually did not lose our points so Dean Carney's Viper Ooh, I do like the side exit so Dean Carney's Viper is uh, very powerful and we're gonna wreck it <laughs> I was holding the handbrake so Dean Carney's Viper does not handle how I th would hoped it would it definitely uh, the rear end of that car is pretty uh, pretty up there I thought it would be a lot lower than that but we are going to go to Alec Honedale's S14, his 2017 S14, Hoonigan, and Juku Racing. No, go back to, there we go. <laughs> oh, did I just freeze the game? I think I did. No, I didn't. There's Red Dance. Oops, what did I just do? So I thought I froze the game, but I did not freeze the game. It was just trying to load Red Dance Toyota Supra. But we wanted to go to Alex Honedale now. Alex Onadale's with that nice uh, supercharger sticking out of the hood. So we're going to give this a test drive as well. 
and we are going to go back to ocean drives so if you guys are still enjoying these torque drift beta videos let me know in the comment section down below you know a lot of you guys are commenting i do appreciate all the support big thank you to everybody commenting and hello to all the new subscribers to the channel um al Condale's s14 uh this thing looks pretty sweet it is still kind of weird not being a driver in the car it does have his purple roll gauge in there so oh, no no go back it does have his purple roll cage in there oh apparently you look backwards if you were to hold the brake a lot i keep hitting the wrong buttons that supercharger so we're gonna go back to the normal view and we're gonna shred Honadale's s14 here the power is definitely there this one does not have as much power as dean carney so it's a little more manageable right now and um yeah it's actually a little bit more manageable it doesn't have a such high rear end as dean carney's car did so it doesn't look like it's just bouncing everywhere and this thing's definitely getting it. I kind of want this car in the game, but I don't have 200,000 to get it. But if I were to be able to get it in one of my crate openings, then you can get the pro cars in crate openings. It's just uh, there's a very rare chance of it. We're just linking all of this so you can flick it back and wreck into the wall. So hoping we could do a quick flick back, but uh, I was trying to get a little bit greedy with that. So, so far, Haunted car is my favorite car of the two we've tried. As I'm totally just wrecking. But Dean Carney's car did not seem like it handled right how I wanted it to. I'm pretty sure if you owned it, you could drop the uh, rear suspension and make it handle how you wanted it to. But just testing it out of the box. I feel like this track changed from when I was racing Kearney's car. So, these pro cars are definitely, I haven't seen too many of them in competition when I was going against some people. I saw, I think, Rad Dan Briquettes and, maybe, and Mad Mike. But other than that, I haven't seen Al Condales, haven't seen Jonathan Castro's, and haven't seen Dean Carney's. So, we're heading into the donut section. So this car, I do love the supercharger out of the hood. And uh, I think we're gonna try and drift this in hood view for a few just to uh, stare at that beautiful supercharger up top. Now if they had engine rock in this, it would make it so much better. But we are still getting sideways in first person. Oof, hard on the brakes. Oh, I kinked my hood. So if you guys change views, do you drift in a different view? Do you guys drift in first person in this game? Do you guys like first person? Personally, I do not like the in-car of it because you fit sit so far back, you can barely see. I feel like I have to sneeze. I feel like it's past. <coughs> nope, there it was. Excuse me. So. Like I said, if you guys change views when you guys play this game, if you are playing the game, do you not change views? Do you like first person view? That's a really long handbrake grab. Personally, I do not like the first person view as much. Oh, I'm missing a door. So now you can definitely see the inside. It's cool how the steering wheel still turns when you're in a third person view. So without Collindale's car, definitely a lot of fun. So we're going to switch it up, go to another car here in our list of pro cars that we are trying out today we only got 5300 bucks left we should be able to get them next car is going to be that of rad dan briquette hopefully my game decides to not freeze for some reason every time when i try and load rad dan briquette's car it takes forever oh it went really fast there so rad dan briquette's s15 s15 <laughs> Toyota Supra, Rad Dan Boost Brigade, Next Entire, Rad Industries, Raise Wheels, AEM and BC. We're going to give this one a shot. I don't know why I said, oh, that's why the track was different. Because we're going to go here. I don't know why I was thinking S15. I had S15 on the brain. So we're going to give Rad Dan Supra a chance on the track. Oh, 1,065 horse. Way more horsepower than I've ever had. In any of these cars, I've actually never driven this car before, so uh, it's already breaking tires loose. But 
it's pretty grippy and manageable. I thought it was going to be all over the place and very, very tail happy, but it's actually quite nice. I actually think I might like Grand Dan Super better than Alicana Dale's car right now. Cars keep getting better. I'm wondering if Jonathan Castro's car is going to be probably the best handling since it is the background graphic for this game and the uh, icon app, which, you know, it is a, you know, Toyota 86, FRS, BRZ, all the same car. I am wrecking all these cars today. The graphics are still insane on these cars, and for this being mobile, I still can't get over the graphics. This game is by far probably one of the best mobile 15 games that I've played. The gameplay on this game and the graphics and everything have the potential to be one of the best mobile 15 games, possibly beating out Car X Drift. Right now I'm having a lot more fun on this than I did in Car X Drifter, so if we could get open lobbies and stuff like that, that would make this game just come in clutch and make this probably the best drift game for mobile out there on the market. And I mean, even like one of the subscribers said, it has the potential to be like Horizon or Forza on the mobile platform, which, you know, we know how many people are still playing Horizon 3 and all the Horizons and Forza games because they're just that much fun. The playability of this game right now with the limited amount of tracks and, the, and it's kind of, you end up facing somewhat of the same people because it's in beta, you know, some people may think it's boring, some people think, may think it's, you know, taxing, but I keep changing my cars around, so every time I try and drive, it is different for me. I'm changing cars around, I just did get the Grease Monkey BRZ, and that car is definitely a lot of fun. So Rad Dan Supra is probably, uh, my favorite car right now of the pro cars that I've tried today. Really long e-brake grab. On throttle, tap. And I think we're gonna end it there. <laughs> I think I think it's time to switch cars up to give John and Castro's car a, a try. I am just dropping doors and body panels and everything like that. So we're gonna give John and Castro's car a try, and we'll probably rip Mad Mike Wadat's car one more time because we do have the funds to do that. And then I'll we'll have to do some more drift tandems to get more money up. So we are gonna go to the final pro car in this pro car lineup. I'm wondering if they're going to get more pro cars later on when the real game comes out. There it is. Boost Brigade. Jonathan Castro. Uh, yeah. Let's give it a shot. We're going to send it to the yard. Kind of want to do a jump drift with Jonathan Castro's car on next and tires and uh, TRD. So, I hope you guys are enjoying this pro car episode here on her you know, torque drift beta, just trying to give the pro cars a shot and uh, to see how they handle. Definitely would like to get my hands on one of these cars to tune it up how I want it. That was almost a perfect jump drift. I've noticed the cars get better as they go up and over the wall. The cars were getting better, better and better, and uh, I wondered if Castro's car was going to be one of the better handling ones, and uh, it's uh, it's very tail happy, and uh, I still think the Supra is probably my favorite one so far. We just totally destroyed Castro's car, but it's okay because we're just renting it, right? I bought the extra rental insurance, so we're good. I won't have to end up paying for all this. I hope not. Although I would still like to get my hand on one of these pro cars so I can tune it, change it, get it to fit my driving style, and uh, be able to uh, shred some pro cars in uh, tandems because unfortunately because I don't own these I can't throw these in tandems with anybody so unfortunately it's just practice but John Gasser's car last car on the pro list and uh, it's definitely uh, it handles pretty well there we go we're going to try this jump drift again e-brake initiate we're going to hit the walls so we are going to go shred Mad Mike with that car probably going to take it to Cali Banks. So I always seem to end these episodes off on Cali Banks. And uh, I feel like we could get a good run on Cali Bank with Mad Mike with that's car. We're just going to have to uh, suck it up and give it a good run at Cali Bank. 
a Mad Mike Wadette. So, like I said, you guys can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. I do appreciate all the support from everybody. I appreciate all the new subscribers and all the comments you guys do on these videos. I definitely read and like and try and respond to every single one. So, Mad Mike Wadette's car. Throw it in nice and high on the bank, but we're going to drop lower on the bank now because, you know, we still got those clips, so that's kind of a very cheap line. We didn't get as many points because we didn't do the wall rides, and we clipped the wall. So, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this little look into the pro cars here on Torque Trick Beta. And look at this car for so much more smoke, I think, than every, any of the other cars in the game. It's just taxing smoke back there. So, until next time, guys, you know, you can follow me on everything. It's all found in the description box below. I will be running back into Forza content here because uh, I'm uh, missing playing on my wheel setup, so definitely going to be switching back to some Forza content so I can get back on the wheel, get back behind the sim rig, and uh, get sideways. Hopefully I can still drift, which I feel like I should be able to. So, until next time, guys, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and uh, that was actually a nice wall bank ride. Let's see if we can put this in and get a good bank ride. Ooh, yes. I will take that. I'll take it until there. <laughs> I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out.